Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Panzer Journal 2 with the ongoing Onward to Berlin into the West campaign initiated by the Red Army, no, the Red Army at the start of 1942 or well, I guess at the tail end of 1942 this campaign starts and it covers specifically the Stalingrad campaign where the entire 6th army was entrapped and surrendered basically wiping away a bulk of German offensive strength and further attacking and further pushing on the momentum into the Battle of Kursk. And I guess not really the momentum, but it was the battle where the Red Army was able to take away the initiative that the German forces still wanted to preserve. And that happened, uh, I guess, for our army. Last mission was supposed to be, I guess, 5th Guards tank army. It happened near Prokhorovka where and the huge armor battles took place and certainly uh, for the forces there a lot of tense moments where the German armor was almost able to overwhelm the Soviet tanks which were in one-to-one -one, could not measure up to the strength of the German panzer but was able to use I guess swarming and other uh, suppression tactics including the infantry in order to thwart them in the end I was really lucky I still believe it could have gone the other way uh, if the German panzers were able to gain a bit of a ground on the Soviet units at the one very crucial turn where I was basically uh, defenseless with four and five half strength tanks uh, lying basically a really neat row where they could just initiate an overrun attack if they just so pleased but did not have the coordination themselves to be able to do that I guess the failings of the AI or I well, I mean, I like to imagine that they just didn't see it uh, was AI in which infinite wisdom was not able to see through to that kind of attack or even possibility of that attack. But anywho, that was the, I guess, turning point in the war within the turning point of the entire Eastern Front battle in general. Um, I wonder if there was actually a turning point in the battle. There must have been a one bullet or one shell fire that was deemed to be the turning shot that basically changed everything but I don't know I'm just talking nonsense yeah the millions of different shots that were fired there but now well we are at we are further going into west like the stuff cause guy said and then that could only mean one thing going into west into the Ukraine S SSR SRR it says Soviet Republic something uh, but I'm not so sure how that exactly translates to. But anyways, it was a Soviet Republic of Ukraine back then and go all the way west until the next biggest natural obstacle there was, natural border, which is other than the Dnieper River. Uh, English pronunciation is Dnieper, but I prefer Dnieper because that's the first thing I heard, uh, first mention of the river that was heard and um, I guess in native language, so I followed that. The Dnieper River. There the Germans had, uh, you know, they thought that basically the Soviet offensive cannot be contained and they had to basically construct a wall that spanned from the, I guess, North Atlantic Sea uh, down into the, uh, I guess, Carpathian? Yeah, and then going into the Sea of Azov or something. I'm not so sure. Uh, my geography is not really great at all. But yeah, they wanted to construct a line called the Voltan Line a defensive line that basically straddled the uh, Dnieper. The Dnieper River, as it winds from the you know central eastern Europe down to Ukraine, at one point in the river it is actually more than three kilometers wide. So it is a huge river. I believe it is the uh, third largest river in Europe. A very formidable, very natural defensive border uh, that the Germans could exploit to defend or stem the tide the red tide that was incoming to overwhelm them. In response to the Germans' uh, hasty you know, attempted defense was the Red Army trying to seize the momentum and keep pushing the Germans, making things very hard for them. And as we reached November of 1943, in order to commemorate some anniversary of communist revolution in Russia, Stalin ordered Kiev, uh, one of the largest cities in the Soviet republics at the time, if not the entire USSR, uh, to be taken by November, I think, the first week of November. And uh, that was a part of a broad strategy that went from 
the Red Army in the north uh, trying to tie up the divisions there, around 50 divisions I hear, um, by launching a deep attack into Smolensk, which is, I think, around a few hundred kilometers from Moscow. And the south uh, tried to draw away the armies from defending Kiev uh, by launching a lower Dnieper offensive. And uh, I think we are at the lower Dnieper, and uh, part of the offensive that was basically deemed uh, I guess from the outset, try to capture, I think, a city called Kenyev. Yeah, Kenyev? Kenyev? I think that's how they call it, I'm not so sure. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. But then uh, I think the real uh, objective was to try to, you know, actually cross the Dnieper. And, and with crossing it, draw the, the German defenders away from the important strategic and symbolic objective of Kiev. So that is what I'm going to do, not in the forefront of the offensive, trying to capture uh, Kiev for Stalin. I think that was delegated to a general called Konyev. Kind of confusing, Kiev, Konyev, and uh, Kanyev. I have no idea. But yes, yeah, there's three different things. Anyways, yes, so um, it's another really hard undertaking. Even though, you know, Stalingrad is the famous battle where there are tons of casualties numbering into the millions and of course the captured Germans numbering into the hundred, hundred thousand almost. Or is it fifty thousand? I'm not so sure. But this Nieper offensive in of itself is deemed to be one of the most lethal battles in the history of warfare with around 1.2 to 1.5 million casualties on the Soviet side and the numbers are not really solid for the German side but around 200,000 or so. I mean, the Red Army was trying to attack a very formidable defensive structures and of course threading a river that is at 1.3 kilometers wide. And I guess in November it's still um, Rastipusa or something. It's a really muddy landscape where transport of arms and materials were really hard. And you know, trying to attack the German, hardened German offensive manned by none other than Manstein. Uh, yeah, this is a tall order and no wonder the Soviet Red Army suffered a tremendous amount of men and materials. 1.5 million, I just cannot fathom or imagine. It's not as well known, I guess, in the West, or... I guess I didn't really know about it, this particular chapter in Russian offensive. The only thing that I basically knew in a certain spec kind of way was the Battle of Stalingrad, Kursk, and then Bagration, and then all things in between that claimed millions of lives still escaped me. But now I am in the thick of it, I need to basically adjust my mindset that this is going to be as hard a battle as Prof. Rovka was and try to prepare accordingly. It is right, I mean from the comment, namely Piano6088 comment telling me that this is the, one of the hardest missions in the Soviet campaign really does make me double down on trying to prepare my forces. And I have a few choices here. I can definitely push the advantage with the armor. However, the armor, as you could have seen in the last mission, is not really up to snuff. It's not that great yet. Although I have leaders now, that was going to help a lot. Especially KB-85, Ruskoy, the Street Fighter. Well, Street Fighter could be very useful. As you will see later, as we you know take a little jaunt to the strategic room to see the map, overview of the map. I think some of the trait where it gives me a boost to the offensive rating such as this one aggressive attack which adds 2 to the normal ratings of 12 so it's going to be 14 and 14 which brings me up to uh not steel panther but uh, i mean still very useful and i would be basically wishing for the leaders to pop up still because i really need them to be able to even the you know playing field somewhat uh, given how many leaders the Germans were able to bring or muster in the last mission. Yeah, I mean, they even had like one leader popping up in addition to all the leaders that were already there, um, predefined. So I gotta be very wary of them. And of course, I don't know whether this is true, but Konyev, General Konyev, was complaining about the lack of air support all the while. The, the Russians were trying to cross on raft the Dnieper River, so I mean, I expect a lot of Luftwaffe presence as well. And that brings us to a dilemma. I I have 16, around 1600 prestige points, and it is enough for me to bring in 
a few planes, namely a one yak and a bomber. Aside from the prestige set aside for over strengthening, which I'm going to do extensively for the tanks and the infantry, I hope. As you can see, IL-2s and IL-2M3 does provide some good amount of you know, suppression attack on the armor. I think I need at least a few in order to be able to effectively uh, fend off the German armor, but I cannot, so I can only hope to uh, bring in at least one if I'm able to use the bomber very extensively in order to give us a bit of a suppression advantage. But that gives us another dimension of how to protect them and how to defend them at all costs because this is going to be a huge amount of prestige investment as well. So there's going to be either Yak 7 or 9. Uh, all these other planes are not really good with the air attack only being 10. All these different variants of Yaks and then they were only able to increase their air rating from early 1940 model to 1943 I believe by a factor of only plus three so it is rather I don't know can say a bit disappointing but I guess that's what the designers of this game deemed it to be I'm sure that this I'm sure that they thought the P-39D this particular American bomber Air Cobra that was supplied in the I guess land lease program to the Soviet was used as a tactical bomber but it was actually used for the interceptor which is quite surprising and then they definitely liked it the soviet airmen had a really good things to say about this particular plane so this is actually in the running as well for that very important role of suppressing the armor all right so let's go back to the armor uh, our own armor and let's give this back because t60 although it was kind of useful and was able to keep up with the rest of the tank army uh, wasn't really that effective as a recon since I don't have the reconnaissance movement. I mean, I can just wait for it to gain a leader, perhaps. But its attack rating does really leave a lot to be desired for you to do anything in terms of gaining experience. And uh, yeah, I mean, the recon... This was actually used as a recon vehicle, I think, the light tank. Can actually draw the fire away from my main tank army, but... I don't really... I just bring in the recons themselves, I guess, because they're cheap enough as it is and... Recognize this movement. Alright, so with Heavy Heart, I remove this unit. And... Let's see, let's see how we are doing as far as the tanks are concerned. So, I think we have 11 tanks. No, we have only 9 tanks, I think. Yeah, only 9 tanks. I think I need to add either one anti-tank or one tank. And the uh, anti-tank here, I found SU-85 to be, I guess I can just call it SU-85. SU-85 to be a bit more practical than 152, since it has double the amount of ammo capacity uh, with the same kind of range, a higher initiative and a pretty decent amount of attack rating against the uh, infantry and armor. It's a pretty good, one of the best, um, I guess, Soviet armor terms, one of the best defensive ratings as well. And 336, compared to 300 T43, and uh, I think 360 T40, T34, 43. I think this is actually a pretty good unit to bring in, since now I have 1818. When I bring one, I hope I do not <laughs> rue my decision after uh, I begin the mission. Artilleries. Yeah, I have two artilleries. I could afford another uh, one, I hope. Or I can bring in K31 as a stopgap measure, you know, as a self propelled artillery that could support our armor wherever they go. A 7 and 8, I don't think this is going to be enough for the armor, but maybe it's going to, once in a while, have the critical hit and serve us pretty well in this fire support. So um, I guess 15.2 with truck costs 360, the same as the tank, provide huge amount of advantage in terms of, well, attacks against the uh, units, but I bring this guy in because I have designs on bringing in a bomber. So that's that. Yeah, so the infantry, I think I have enough. The recon, yes, the recon I need to bring in at least two in order to see ahead across the Dnieper River. 
I bet this spotting range is plenty enough to actually see what's up on the other side in the beginning few turns. So I bring in two. This one is, well, I mean, it does have seven, but I'm not really using the Raycon to serve as an anti-tank role now. So that's that. And yeah, let's decide what to bring. So IL-2 and P-39 has the same attack ratings. And this is not only more ex yeah, this is a bit more expensive, but loses out in the, I guess, anti-air ability. Yeah, and then this air defense is rather worrying as well. Because it, although he's able to attack, try to exchange fire with the Luftwaffe counterpart, he has a low amount of initiative that's not going to help that much. When he has four, which is not really great. He does have a very decent amount of defense, not defense, attack rating. Um, yeah, IL-2 M3 is definitely the plane to get if you want any serious amount of suppression. I only have 990, huh? Yeah. Well, let's bring in... Can I bring in uh, list 1 Yak? No, I can't. 480. And how much is this? Yeah. I don't have enough money. That's not really good. Just make a decision. I guess I need to bring in P39D and just pray that it survives. Um, yeah, I don't really feel great about it though. Uh, let's see what happens, let's see what happens. I cannot afford the IL-2M3 now. Probably a bad decision on my part. Uh, but I really need a suppressive fire and then if... I'm not so sure. I'm just... Well, I mean, I thought that I had it all figured out, but now look at me. I mean, I'm just trying to uh, make ends meet in a really desperate attempt to make things work to my satisfaction, but it's not going to happen. I'm going to bring in one more of these, and let's try to over-strengthen this, guys. This is the tank with aggressive attack, right? Yeah, Gagarin. So I'm going to give him uh, one more. And uh, this guy is, what is this? Aggressive. So yeah, this guy, I think this guy will do fine with only one. And how about this guy? I think this is... Resilience. I give him two. Yeah, they all get one. I have under five. Wow. I don't have enough to over strengthen the infantry. Let's try our best. Okay. These guys all deserve one and 58 is what I have now. Can I over strengthen at least one more? Uh, yeah, let's over strengthen this. Then that's it. Yeah, 28. So spend everything all right i wish i could have over strengthened this but i mean it has a pretty good defensive rating so oh well it's all compromises and let's see if what i have suspected or what i have prepared for actually works this time and not having to rely on the luck and rng going my way uh, for a change so kanyev yeah so this is the objective i think kanyev was not captured way after Kiev was captured, I think they were just able to skirt around it. And then the Ukrainian front was able to, I think, crack the wall that was the fortress Kanyev. But it was really dangerous. And then I think the Stavka guy mentions the paratroopers. Guards airborne forces. From what I read, the paratrooper mission in and of itself was... Uh, to say it was a disaster is understatement. I heard of the 2000 paratrooper strength. They landed all along the wide area of the Kenyev region. 48 hours I heard half of it was struck down either by being uh, killed or captured. So it was a really disastrous mission. But I guess it kind of directed attention away from the main objective of crossing the Dnieper River. And I guess in a way it was not really a success but served the purpose in the sacrifices of those paratroopers. So I don't think we'll be seeing a lot of paratroopers here. Uh, instead we see... Oh my gosh. Germans. Germans everywhere. Oh my goodness, look at all these towns. I mean Ukraine, this was Ukraine. And how did Germans get all this? I guess this just means that they are defending this point. And I guess a lot of these points are probably empty as well. But yeah, a lot of things to capture. 
but also it gives us a little bit of hope that if we use if we play the cards right in terms of using the recons smartly of that which I have not really shown any pensions for uh, we'll be able to gain a whole lot of prestige points in order to either fix or bring in new units so in a way it's a mixed blessing but it's going to take a long time to capture all this um, well I guess we can forget about this if you're successful enough they can just capture all these points first all right so let's see so we have deployment Deployment area here. The I guess do you see the fork or the bend of the river? Another one in the north directly here. These are the okay, these are the breaching guys now sacrificing their lives under heavy German fire in trying to create a makeshift bridge for us. And here, okay, so three major landing or launching point, and some of them have already crossed which means that we have a bridgehead right here we're going to be able to use that if you're lucky enough or fast enough definitely going to put a recon there to see so one very strong column is going to drive down this side and another one is going to maybe link up after capturing here with the forces in the west and try to apply both of their strength toward this region and here i think it's going to come down around Kanyev and maybe neutralize the defenses here while the rest of it goes really down south toward Meserich. Yeah, all these towns. So that's my general plan. So yeah, then let's try to follow that plan accordingly. So KB-85, the heaviest tank is going to... Well, where should I put this guy? Okay, let's see the terrain here. It seems like they're all rough. And uh, KV-85 does not like rough terrain. If it can cross here very fast, maybe it can give KV-5 a running start by putting one right here. But I'm afraid of what's going to happen. But just Street Fighter anyway, so maybe let's put KV-85 here. Let's see if the tanks can follow the bridging and then try to create a bit of a salient here. And it has a small distance to the road which means that 85 is going to be traveling in style in no time so let's put right here and it's going to be accompanied by a recon of course and to try to see all the is happening and right here okay these are all t43s okay so one kb1 the heavy tank is going to be the spearhead that goes through this region because it has a road that is able to travel pretty far and wide. T43. It's going to be accompanied by one leader. I think this is Gagarin. This is uh, Mesnerik. And this is... I don't know, but this guy is resilient. So one resilient tank here. And one offensive tank. Well, I think... Meserik is able to travel a bit far, so I think he'll be fine with the rough terrain somewhat. So I'm going to put him, I think, to be able to take advantage of his strength. And this guy is Gagarin, aggressive. So let's put the aggressive guy to head a group in the east. Followed by other experienced tanks. Let's put another tank right here. Yeah, another tank right here. Another tank here, and T-43 is going to follow these guys. Oh, okay, so anti-tank. So anti-tank is going to follow this group. Yeah, instead of the T-43, the anti-tank is going to follow this group. Yeah, these guys will have four. And this group will have, well, yeah, let's give four to these guys as well. Because this... Central area guys, we just have to take this point before linking up, so I think we need more strength on the right side. Um, yeah, for why it's worth. Alright, so let's put the air defense. The artillery first, that's more important. So I don't know what's going to happen right here. I like to see if there is actually a defender right in the objective. 
maybe this guy is in trouble the next turn if I cannot take the breach head as quick as possible. Uh, right, tank right here. Uh, okay, just that we are selecting the P39D, so let's just put it before I forget. And the artillery right here. Another artillery is going to, maybe if there's a defender is here, going to offer us a bit of barrage. Followed by an anti anti air defense, our air defense. And one on this group. Yeah, it's going to be pretty hard to organize everything. And finally, one here in the airfield. Alright, so another recon. Well, okay. Yeah, the recon is going to be. Okay, the recon is going to be. Where is the recon? Yeah, right here. Not you. Um, well, let's put this guy right here first. And this guy we can just drive down from just Joshnikov after we have done everything. And yeah, this guy is going to be placed right here. Uh, how about Katusha's? Well, yeah, let's put Katusha. Not swamp. I think it's going to be swamped. Not in the middle. I don't really feel safe in the middle. Maybe in the left side where there's no artillery, which means that it's going to be. Uh, wow, okay. Yeah, maybe it's going to be able to travel pretty far, support us. And the infantry. Infantry is. One is going to be the regular. Yeah, it's going to be placed right here. The guards. Yeah, the guards is going to maybe help us here. And some of them are now supplied by organic transport, uh, which is going to slow down things a bit. So these regular guys, we need to step it up. Well, these are the engineers. Okay, so the engineers will be doing this crack group here and they're all supplied by the organic organic transport excuse me one engineer is going to be helping us in the middle and these guys will all start from the east trying to cross the river through this bridging guys i guess the infantry should be a bit well i think the recon is going to be able to find the initial try to cover the initial ground near this point near this bridge yet. and we have a few auxiliary troops here wow okay so Kanye is rather close to the southern line but I'm going to deem this as a purely defensive line and then try to protect maybe even go into the forest and hold it for dear life because yeah it's going to be definitely be under attack if we show any kind of weakness in the flank which is going to be disastrous because they have panthers and tigers and that is the, all the units that were supplied to me. Yeah, that's kind of disappointing. I mean, this is a huge mission in of itself. Counting a bit too much on the, on the strength of the Masaryk's army, which is not really that experienced, although it has a lot of leaders. That's actually a relief. But anyways, I think it's 15 turns, right? 15 turns. It's going to be a huge battle. Okay, in the immediate area here, we don't see a lot of defense. We only have, um, oh, Garrison that is entrenched. And Garrison is one of the weakest German units. Uh, so it's to calm before the storm, or I think the Germans are pulling back in order to draw us in. And with our backs to the river, then we'll not be able to run. You know, those Germans are very smart. Or I'm just giving them too much credit. But still, we have to be very careful. And first order thing is to create a strong bridge yet. So let's try to... Uh, Oh boy, uh, this is chef. All right, so nobody home. Interesting. So we got the first point. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And let's see if we can gain a bit of foothold. Rough terrain. Okay. These guys really all have to come down. Yep. So this guy is Majic with resilience, right? So he can. Uh, travel a bit farther, maybe. Yeah, alright. Okay. So engineers have entered, capture objective. This guy will 
maybe just try to provide a bit of a line here. Uh, yeah, so this guy we have to come down as well. And this guy, I think he will just stay outside of the town. Like right here. This guy is now more or less stranded. And this guy will try to support us. I don't know, there's no artillery here, but there still could be some artillery so positioned in the high ground, in the hill, in order to fire down holy hell on the armor column. So this guy we have to just maybe stay. Yeah, let's worry about the air defense first. And Katusha is going to lag behind. Wow, that is um, certainly not really a promising beginning. <laughs> Alright, okay, well, so West is done, but not really happy with where I am. Guard Calvary. Okay. Yeah, let's see what is up here. It's all rough terrain, so I need to be very careful. Movement pointing is rapidly decreasing, of course, because it's rough terrain. KB85, okay, can you shoot? Now let's see, let's try to calculate our rough terrain, okay. Can you make it? Oh, you cannot make it? Oh goodness, okay. That yeah, could be a bit problematic. Yeah, wow, alright. At least the tank is able to make it through. Yeah, let's give this guy a bit of a... Oh boy, okay, so I think I made a mistake already. Good going there. Six and four, okay. Ah, the forest. Not really happy about where I'm going to be after this turn. Especially for the infantry. Uh, but these guys might be able to travel a bit farther, right? Yeah, need to travel. Uh, as far as possible. Yeah, wow. Not good, not good at all. Here, I can only shoot at this guy. Well... Yeah, I tried to shoot at this guy, but... I'm kind of worried about the defense here too, because conveniently the forest doesn't extend into the swamps. Maybe the swamp is able to give us a bit of a defensive bonus, but I think it's not going to help. Two experience bars, so it's not bad. I'm uh, kind of wondering whether there will be artillery nearby, but I will not be able to know. One and four, wow, not bad, but I'm not going to attack, I'm just going to hold firm and see what the Germans have up against us. These guys are all hold. This guy, we have to stay for one more turn. Uh, I hope that Luftwaffe misses them or something because if the bomber attacks them and these guys are cut, then of course I'm going to be stranded. So. Thank goodness the tanks are over, but it's not going to help. Okay, so should I use the tanks to attack? Yes, I can. I can even overrun it. Now this is going to be pretty useful. That's good. And not be able to move. Okay. Well, no biggie. Rather promising. And the air... Air defense is not able to move yet. Engineer. Yeah, okay. Right. So have I missed any units? Nope. I don't believe so. Okay. This guy, yeah. Ah, oh, the Air Cobra. Alright, so Air Cobra has to stay put for one turn. These guys will all have to stay. Oh, I think he can move to support our unit. Nope, he can only stay there. <laughs> I mean, he can only move back or front. He cannot even... I guess because they assumed that the raft or the, the makeshift bridge was constructed at one point. And we have to just stay there to try to protect it or preserve it as long as possible. And after all the units have passed, they can definitely move and follow us and lay more bridges down the road. But yeah, by then it's going to be pretty clear whether we are going to win this mission or lose it. Alright, so with trepidation, 
What do the Germans have in store for us? Let's see. Bring victory nine turns? Wow, okay, nine turns. It's going to be definitely a fast one. Oh man, yeah. The loot buff. Okay, so recon. Then we'll be able to see us. Like, entire armor column. Uh, luckily, my reinforcements have arrived, folks. Reinforcements have arrived. Reinforcements have arrived. The Ukrainians have arrived to give us a hand. Oh, the paratroopers. Okay, so this is the paratroopers that have landed all across the map. So it's going to create some sort of, um, at least a bit of uh, confusion. Yeah, okay. So the yeah, paratroopers are going to the biggest towns or, you know, prepare a way for us. Uh, don't worry about these big towns uh, because I feel that there are going to be a lot of bad Germans there. Okay, so... Yeah, just like... You know what this map reminds me of? This map reminds me of way back when at Sedan where I was just mesmerized by the entire group of tasty morsels of prestige or the towns, I mean. That I was distracted from my purpose of trying to drive toward the west. Um... So I'm not going to be fooled again. I mean, fool me once, you know, shame on me, but fool me, you cannot get fooled again. Just, you know, drive forward and try to roll over the Germans as uh, quick as possible. Alright, so, the engineer, take it. Five and five, that is, that is very impressive. And this is P31. Okay, so it's not really that uh, strong unit. Alright, so the recon, see what is up ahead. Oh my goodness, we have a Panther, no Panzer IV. We have a Bomber, I think. And we, yeah, this is a, no, this is actually a Fighter, but very experienced one. Okay. Alright, that is something rather different. Okay, so you guys, maybe the engineers, very variable unit. I think I'll be able to strike here maybe with the kb1 yeah what is this resilience okay so resilient tank is able to good all right so let's see what's going to happen so these are also the recons stay in the forest and you you can come back now Yeah, the forest is right here. The recon is able to see up to... Well, I mean, this is fair weather, so one, two, three, four, or is it just three? Till right here. And the tanks will be able to engage this guy, but this guy is pretty experienced as well, so let's just check what we have up against us. Okay. Yeah, not going to work well. All right, all right. So let's... Nope. And the air cobra is going to help? I don't think so. I think it's going to be... Uh, I think we have to see at least one engagement with this Panzer Force first. With all the support available. This guy will... Um, well, what can you do? Just stay here. And this guy will try to attack. This PSW. Yeah. One and one. Wow, it's not going to end well. Alright, uh, Katusha, can you move? No, you can't. Yet. Yes. Because I wanted to get the breaching guys out as well. Yeah, so the support is not going to come until next turn or even later. It's not really great news. Yeah, these guys are able to see everything here. Okay, so... Yep. Yeah make a lot of they have to capture a lot of points here okay so let's make a decision if we capture here then we'll be able to see the surrounding area and then we can go quickly into the forest i don't know whether germany is able to capture it back of course i think they will try to do that but these guys have the spotting range of two thankfully enough they can capture here and see what kind of uh nope they don't have anybody here well, we can actually try to capture this point as well. Yeah, okay, capture a lot of objectives now. And let's try to use this guy to see what we have up against us. Uh, we have really nobody. Okay, so this is, I think, a matter of, you know, 
just trying to capture the point as quick as possible and then really move and press advantage so this is the tank splitting out from the east D3443 yeah and one way to move and the uh, reinforcements so our job is to try to link up with the parish troopers as quick as possible D43s okay yeah and the infantry is able to maybe capture the point all right so you have to move yeah engineer capture this point come along here ah oh, finally the air is able to move okay that's good and this guy is also able to move that's even better all right now this guy is able to scuttle ahead for us and yeah let's move downward and then maybe it's going to take well, I think the Germans will be very forceful in trying to take back this point, that's for sure. Uh, one thing though is, if we capture this point, the Germans decide to drive up this road, then it's going to be caught by this guy. Okay, so I need to search for the paratroopers, but I have to do this in order to do that. Okay, let's try to start off from well, here. And this guy is travel further down. Okay. Alright, so is there any tank here nearby? I'm not so sure, but there could be a tank, so I need to be careful. Yeah, need to link up as fast as possible. Yeah, and then these points can be captured by this recon the next turn. And of course, the infantry can take care of things too. Yeah, let's move. Oh man, that's a really bad place. Yeah. Well, at least the guard's cavalry is able to move pretty quickly. Uh, this guy will have to spend some time. This guy as well. Alright. Oh boy. So this does not really bode well. Oh, wow. We have a lot of points here. Wow, okay. This is what I meant to do. Oh, good. Alright, so. The Act 9 is going to protect this P39 as it tries to suppress. I don't know if it's going to work at all though. Alright, okay, do it. 2.6, not bad. And then Yak is going to protect these guys. Uh, maybe outside of the uh, range of this. Well, I mean, I don't know what's going to happen, but the P39 definitely is on notice. How about if I directly attack this guy? What is going to happen? I have no experience whatsoever. Yeah, it's not going to... Well, I mean, I let them attack first. You know, fulfill the interceptor role. So yeah, place it right here. I have how many requisition point? 900. Yeah, so let's see what's going to happen. And if the tanks are damaged, I have to fix these guys up and try to keep moving. I don't have a lot of time. I can move this guy now. And this guy. Good. More units for us. And this guy maybe should go into the forest. Shorten the defensive line somewhat. Uh, yeah, it's going to be... Going to come under attack. Oh my goodness, okay. Was this guy moving? No, okay, so that's good. Alright, so only three paratroopers, I believe, helped us. And I guess in creating a bit of a... Well, I mean, zone of strength where we can move directly into and support them. And it's going to connect us to the... Last remaining point. So this is not really a big map per se. Oh, look at all the Soviet troops crawling into the, the other side of the Dnieper. Uh, it's just a stream. Great, so I don't have to name it in map legend. Alright, so... I think the panther and the tiger is going to... Yeah, this guy is definitely attracted. 4.5, that hurt. Oh, wow, that is surprising. Got caught. Oh, lord. The Emmy, no, fuck a wolf. Oh, the tiger, yeah, it's gonna come. Flank is weak and exposed. Got hit. Oh my goodness, rugged though. Thank goodness for this forest. Rugged, please, no. My goodness. 
What is that? Right under the air cobra. So the reinforcement from the Germans have also arrived. So this is basically a very strange mission, but my goodness, the tiger. I've seen a tiger and it's not pretty. Oh boy. Okay, so you guys get torched once again. Nice. And you have to stay, of course. Uh, keep getting entrenched and this guy will have to stay back, at least a few of these guys, regulars. Yeah, I knew that... Well, I didn't know, but I sort of suspected that... Point 4, that's good. Nice, okay. Yeah, I sort of suspected that the flank was vulnerable. And I was partially proven correct, unfortunately. My goodness, 17. Yeah, it's not going to be any effective at all. Okay. This guy will now have to... Well, the Katushas are coming, finally. Uh, and then let's see what is happening up here. Well, I have to destroy this guy first. Uh, let's see, is there any other... No, they don't have anything here, so I can concentrate my attacks here. Keep some engineers and... Well, I can move these guys now, so I get these guys now to try to protect a few of the points that we have garnered, especially this objective. Yeah, so after I get this guy off our backs, we need to see what is up. So the weather! Please be rain. No, it's fair. Drat. Okay. Alright, I have to attack this guy. Nice, nice. One and three, we are improving. Travel a bit farther. Down. Oh no, my goodness. Okay, so that's a bit of a... Oh man, I thought that I was done for. But fortunately, it wasn't... It wasn't like that. One and one. Okay. So I need to make a decision whether to attack this guy. Well, this guy forming a part of the flank to try to protect. 4.5, okay. Alright, I wish I could bring my artillery to bear, but yeah, it's a bit too late. So this guy also has to move. I'll maybe capture this point. I'll maybe go into the forest. Yeah, go into the forest. And this guy... Well, let's see. Hopefully it's going to be attracted by the artillery or the Katyushas. Anti-tank has been very useful so far. I'm presently surprised. Although it was damaged rather heavily. Okay, stay right under here. No, nope. um, I want to be protected by the... Yeah, I'm kind of worried about the flank. So it is better idea if I... Hmm. Okay, let's just begin our trek toward west. Use infantry to capture this point. The most important point, and then move with our own tanks from the east. Oh my goodness, this is terrible. I certainly made a lot of mistake in the beginning phase. Now this guy, who is this, T-43, you have to go back. You have to go back and try to do something about the tiger. How uh, about, yeah, this guy. This guy will not follow us. And, uh... Yeah, hold this point as much as possible, get entrenched. This guy will see what is happening. Okay, nothing much. Kind of afraid of what's going to happen. There are going to be a lot of tanks and defenses. Alright, so... Okay. I mean, the Humo or whatever just came out of nowhere. I didn't even check the unit's name. I guess when I clicked it to overrun it, it was identified, but I didn't really see what it was. But it definitely traveled a long way from the west. That means that there will be a reinforcement that is coming. And of course, I'm very uh, wary of it. Um, 
So the anti-tank has to stay here, try to provide at least a bit of a cover. Man, this guy will have to go to work on the, well not on the stream, but here and try to capture this point. One and five, yep, that is all I want. Eight and two, even better. Oh, too bad. Oh, I can overrun it, right? That's good. All right, let's overrun it. And try to, yeah. So we basically linked up now. Let's see what is happening here. All right, so we captured a few of the points and we have four more to go, but it's further down west. Further down south, excuse me. And these guys will have to take care of this panzer and of course have to go down to Mesolovka. It's going to be, um, well, I mean, if I so clear, only one rough patch. Yeah, so I guess if I get three tanks, maybe able to take care of this guy in the next turn, hopefully. I think it's still trying to go down though. Still under strength, not even replaced or reinforced. Going to take the three tanks, kind of drive down south for Maslovka, while these guys will capture the point and with the paratroopers serving as a bit of a guide. I don't know whether they know this region themselves that much, but you know, at least they can provide a bit of a coverage for us, spot for us. Yeah, and then let's see if I can go down here and see what is happening. Yeah, okay, so keep capturing point. So maybe now the tiger is kind of afraid it's going to go into the west instead of pestering us in our very burnable point. It's a regular guy. We really need to entrench itself without question. Guard cavalry is going to serve as a bit more use for us. They're going to slink down and spot for us there. This regular troop, yeah. Bridge too far there for them. Guard cavalry here. Yeah, going to the forest. No, let's move this guy first. Okay, so what can this guy do? Capture some points. That is what they can do. Oh man, this guy can travel pretty far. This guy too. Alright, so let's try to park them park them right here. And right oh man, okay. Stream clear, so it's clear right here. Yeah, okay, so it's pretty decent amount of defense here, and then there's a stream, so... Yeah, it's a pretty decent amount of setup. Okay, maybe 5 has to maybe capture this point, or can this guy do for us? Nope, they can't. Uh, yeah, go into the forest, and yeah, capture this point. Hope that it's going to be okay. Yeah, you capture this point as well. I think we got another thousand or so. I mean, we are just very busy capturing all the different points here. I think that was a part of it. I think the German strength is going to be only only get stronger as time rolls by and we have to make a uh, very quick progress in order to survive. So can the recon capture? Yeah, it's a straight road for it and uh, it can also capture here. Okay, that's good. And the requisition, another yeah, thousand acquired. Can we put more bombers into action than 600? Can we dream? Uh, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Uh, maybe we should bring a um, cheapest bomber and try to yeah try to suppress these guys. I don't know what I'm doing, but hope that it's going to work out. I'm quite surprised that I'm getting a lot of prestige in order to support us. Now we need to be very careful, uh, very careful indeed. I'm going to. Um, no, I think the cost is a bit too prohibitive. Or should I be a bit bolder? Yeah, I'm worried about the flank in the east. These guys will be destroyed in two turns. I need to be very opportunistic with the bombers. So I'll do that. Let's see what is going to happen in the east. I'm sure there will be a lot of tigers and uh, other baddies waiting for us. And yeah, of course here I need to be uh, very mindful of the fact that they're not able to see us. Try to surprise them. How long can they see? Okay, so let's try and surprise them right here. And my bomber is going to stay a bit back. 
going to be some kind of action here, I'm sure of it, uh, from the love buff. And this guy with three entrench. This guy, yeah, wow, 12 strength, my goodness. Not going to work at all, and this guy still has to stay. Alright, so seven turns left. Okay, so tank is probably going to... Nope. Instead of attacking... Oh man, that's pretty bad. Now attacking our tanks. Oh boy, that's not good. Alright, so more tanks coming from the east or west. Nope. Okay. Yeah, the air force is just going crazy. That's for sure. I need to get rid of this guy first. Make the sacrifice. No, I don't know. Let's see how far this guy can travel. Alright. Uh, this guy can move down. Get to this point. And as I said, I need to work my way down to the southern objective. One and one. The bomber is going to help. It has to be destroyed. Jirenjo, it's not going to work out well. Okay. So there's no need to sacrifice needlessly. Yeah, you move. One and one. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Wow. Okay. Now, can this guy do it for us? Can this guy make the ultimate sacrifice? No. Yeah, these experienced German tanks are very, very tough, to say the least. One, two, three. Okay. Um, yeah, cannot see what is up. I believe that I need to swamp this guy a bit because this guy is making things a lot difficult for us. So, let's try that. Let's try it. A bit of detour, but going in the same direction, so... Um, yeah, the infantry can move down there. The recon can still capture this point. And see what is up here, I guess. Immediate vicinity. Maybe you can capture here and then see what is up here, but... Um, yeah, I am quite... Okay, so this guy can capture this here. And the recon can make a bit of a detour, maybe. No, the recon can wait. I'm going to bring all my armor force against this Panzer IV. Uh, three and one. Wow, okay. Well, that's not going to end up well for us. Oh well, I have plenty of prestige now. Yeah, didn't work out too well there. Okay, that was quite disappointing. That is very disappointing. So what can you do? Okay, so can you envelop this guy and maybe suppress it? <laughs> he can only be suppressed one direction. Yeah. Maybe. Nope. Three and one. Hmm, not going to work out. Okay. Can you now do something? One. It's going to give us upper hand. Nice. That was the upper hand that we needed. And we sneak our plane here and see if we can surprise it or intercept it. And it's all uh, wishful thinking. And I need to, well, I mean, if this tank is not destroyed in the next turn, I need to reinforce these guys. Yeah. All right. Travel as far as air support. Now, artillery is being a bit useless. That's always a Katushas. Yeah, this guy needs to protect. I haven't seen any more reinforcements coming from west, but if there's more, then... This is toast. 
Okay, the engineer, let's see. Uh, you can go still farther south. Wow, yeah, the recon is able to see pretty clearly what's going on here. Oh, surprisingly very light defense. Is there an artillery nearby though? Yeah, okay. Yeah, just keep capturing the point, giving us that valuable prestige that we need so desperately. They're pioneers, so I need my 85s to come very quickly. This guy is being protected by the German Luftwaffe. Uh, so this plane will just stay nearby trying to support when their participation is needed okay one and one i wish i could bring my artillery where is it oh it's really far up there well i mean you can travel pretty far though pretty quickly that's good and then guard cavalry yeah you can uh, come down here and you too. Okay, so regulars, regulars. This guy. There's a guard cavalry. Capture this point. You don't move an inch. Okay, so you guys don't move at all. And this guy will provide a secondary cushion. And this bridging have already moved this guy. I should make this guy stay just in case. Oh man, this air defense thing. I should put it just in the front of everyone. Now it's hopelessly mired. Alright, the air support. Come down here and you capture right here. The engineers. Okay, so engineers are coming to capture this point and maybe go down further. All right, so I wonder how many tanks the the Germans have. They have one Panzer IV H and one Tiger that I could identify, and they have a whole lot of uh, planes buzzing around. So yeah, not really looking forward to the fight. That's for sure. Oh, they have artillery. Okay, this guy's weather not in a good way. Yeah, they're going to get blasted. The kingdom come. All right, so the recon, yeah, sure, stay there. And this guy, yeah, I'm going to just... Maybe I can coax it to come and then try to fight maybe this tank, I'm not so sure. But yeah, let's try to protect this guy since it's in the city. Although it's street fighter, I'm not so sure um, whether it's close combat is in effect. Even though it kind of disregards the entrenchment of the city hexes. So yeah, another turn. Okay, so six turns. Alright, so something's moving. Oh boy. Oh no, that's not good. Yeah. Too bad. Three and... Wow, that is... Oh, that was a paratrooper though. Yeah, the... The air corps was done for. Jesus. Another tank. Before J now. Okay, so it's keep coming, it's keep coming. So I need to be very careful. Ah, uh, so we know what is happening in the west. They're sending the reinforcements. That's their little trick. Just like in Sedan. Remember when I told you that this really looked like the French campaign? Yeah, it basically was. And now this guy, well, I mean, I don't want to waste any guys further. And then maybe try to, yeah, I'm going to control this guy last. And you get replenished. And let's check what is up there. Okay, so, yeah, the defense is coming. Yeah, you can see the defense is moving, that's for sure. Yeah, let's just hit them as quick as possible. Yeah, another route, that's good. Oh my goodness. 
And these guys well need to really come quickly. And uh, engineers. Well, can they actually help? Uh, they can help in this area, that's for sure. Um, you can see what is happening here. Just keep capturing points. Good. Alright, so this guy. 27. 8 and 2. Oh, not destroyed. Okay, doesn't matter. I can attack, attack, attack. Alright, so this is now covered somewhat. So let's see what is happening down there. Another defender. So I can bring another air cobra if I want to, another bomber, another fighter, but now really thinking about bringing another tank. Try to, you know, provide a bit of a cushion for the western flank as we try to capture the points as quickly as possible. And I think, yeah, my deploying point is. Oh, okay, so this guy needs to go up here now. And this guy needs to come down. It's great that I wasn't, I didn't just throw away the breaching guys the first chance I got. I really need them now. And this guy needs to move as well. Alright, so is there any guys who can protect the flank as I move the artillery? Yes, let's move into the forest or is there a forest here? No, it's only stream hex. But they can provide a bit of a yeah protection. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, let's try to is this engineer too? Yeah, so this is engineer, really need him. Alright, so I sent that guy off. And the paratroopers is going to... Ah, it's going to be one hex short. Alright, so this guy can move, force the issue. And this guy also uh, can... Can I actually surprise them? Maybe I can. KB remove. Now this guy will try to see if he can create a bit of a defensive action. Let's see if it's going to work. Okay, so I'm going to park this guy over here. Get this guy over here. Protect the flank. And engineer, well, I mean, this decision time. Uh, whether I'm going to protect this point, pill. Yeah, I have to probably defend this point. I mean, I don't know. Uh, this guy can actually defend this point. Okay, that's good. Yeah, going to here. He's now free to move about and help us try to get the last few remaining points. I hope my forces don't get squeezed. Alright, so they can all identify. These guys are all coming up here. Wow, alright, so this is set down once again. Yak? Okay, so Yak is going to maybe spring a trap. I did spring a trap, but it didn't really work against these guys. Not at all. So, yeah, that sucks. Yeah, so try to spring a trap. Well, okay, let's try to protect the Katushas then. I guess. Yeah, this Air Cobra. Okay, now what can you do? I still... No, you can maybe try to attack this guy. Can you move? No. You can move. Okay, capture some points here. And this guy... Yeah, further damage this guy. 4 and 2, good. And one. Yeah, so we have damaged them a bit. All right. This guy. Oh, okay. So you go west. Uh, destroy the artillery. This is clear. And yeah, try to get this guy off. All right. Okay, wow, pretty cool. Reinforce these guys. 
because they have a lot of experience and well they're gonna get destroyed threat yeah car carry is going to defend this position and uh, these tanks will have to go down here and capture the last point that's what i'm going to do okay so this guy can move once more let's maybe stay on the road and uh engineer is there any air coverage no any air coverage here no okay stay there stay there okay everybody stay try and move oh t43 what a nice present surprise so what can this guy do so we have reached this point and this point if i'm I mean, I don't know where the tiger went. If he's trying to go all the way here, then it's going to be pretty bad for us. Oh man, yeah, I cannot rule that out, can I? I cannot rule that out. Oh my goodness. I cannot rule that out, so... Ah, this is not good. Oh man, I'm just confused and paranoid. This tank can, after these guys have done their job here, join the forces here and then try to take it. And then of course, yeah, this point as well of Meserich. Yeah, it's pretty chaotic. It's very chaotic. Uh, it's like the forces are coming in. I think, I don't know how many uh, German armor is going to come in, but I'm worried to say the least. And uh, of course, I need to actually hold the point after I capture it. So that's another concern. Ah, uh, yeah, it is coming. All right, so what are you going to... So have they expended all their... Wow. Huh. Yeah, they're very experienced too. I wonder what part of the troops Four turns left okay well i mean you know there was a little bit of pause that gave me uh, a bit of a strange sensation something that have gone rather wrong uh yeah things are going quite tenuous though because of the of course the constraints that is placed on me in terms of the turns uh so yeah forget about the west let's just go straight down and see if we can cause some damage here the engineer is going to help um, yeah, let's try to finish this guy off first. Can we overrun it? No, I can't. Now then. Yeah, can overrun it now. And this guy is now can capture it. Oh, the full strength tiger. What do you know? That is very worrying, folks. Very worrying. Yeah. All right, let's just advance one hex. Ah, so what can this tiger do? Probably not outright destroy us, but thankfully, despite what I have feared, it didn't actually go all the way up there and make a wide turn toward surprise defeat for me. I mean, never seen that happen, but I mean, if it was a human, could have actually tried it. All right, let's see what is happening here. Nothing much. Okay, that's good. All right, so let's park right here. It's going to be able to shoot. Good. And what do we have here? Okay. We have a couple of regulars. Oh, uh, we have three regulars and one is the Strippen. Uh, one is going to be a really hard to dislodge. And uh, the other tank is actually going down south, so we are going to follow them, this tank. This tank is also going to try to destroy or disrupt. Okay, not yet. Okay, let's try to see if we can make some noise here. One and one, yeah, sure. No artillery, that's good. We lower some entrenchment. Alright, so KB... 
like this guy is a bit stronger. Okay, not good. Uh, engineer can actually oh okay walk all the way here and then try to wow that's that's not going to work at all. All right, paratrooper, reinforced. You have a lot of experience, so that's something, right? All right, now what? Four and six. Yeah, I have to do it. Not bad. All right, capture. That's good. Okay. Good, good, okay. And what can I spot? So there's a regular, well, freshly arrived from the south, probably. Wow, I mean, Ukrainian front is basically, uh, yeah, they're arriving from, you know, except for east and north, they're arriving from every direction. Precarious, precarious situation. All right, so guard cavalry can to stay in the forest, have to stay in the forest. Well, yeah, there's no other way. Uh, who is this? Mazarik? Okay, this guy can travel fast, so... Almost out of fuel! Why not just get this guy all filled up? Oh, not this guy though, this guy overran. Alright, this guy will have to... Yeah, move up. Um... No, not move up, but try to protect. I'm afraid of what is happening down there. Maybe they are going to focus on the on the artilleries and then the infantry here. I don't know where they are going to go, but the air cover is going to stay uh, with the yak. And then see if we can apply some sort of uh, emergency suppression attack. Uh, what can this guy do? Well, I mean... Yeah, have to get out of rough patches. Alright, so the breaching guys, yeah, keep capturing points. Now this guy, we have to arrive. Still plenty of fuel, that's good. Good to know. Alright, engineer and 12 point inch. This guy and I have to travel here. Yeah, see whether there is any German armor. Nope, thankfully not. And shoot. All right, so one entrenchment down. Okay. Oh no, oh no, I should have shot it. Ah, dang it. Oh boy. Did a mistake. Very stupid. Uh, boy. All right. Anyways, bit of a buffer there. This guy. Well, he's okay. Very strong. Uh, boy. Okay. This guy is also going to move. One tank is enough to keep these guys, and uh, I think Katusha may be able to move now. I don't know about this guy, but yep. These guys will be able to see, so why not just try to surprise them right here? Or uh, do I have a better place? Well, yeah, we have 109k all supplied and ready to fly under sortie. Uh, where should I place this? Plane. Perhaps here. At least it's going to help with protecting. Intercepting any plane that is going to wander from east to west. Okay, so how about you? Maybe... Wow, already entrenched. Yeah, we're basically inviting these guys to come here, but I think it's going to stay here and then shoot. It's going to be pretty bad for this tank. It does a pretty good amount of... Uh, yeah, pretty good amount of experience though. How much experience does this guy have? Wow. The fire support is going to be available and these guys will make things not easy. Of course, this guy is going to be the surprise. 
you know, pincer attack here if needs be. If things are really desperate. To have enough, my goodness, has not enough fuel because I was just wavering about. Now this guy, well, what can this guy do? Let's come here. So chaotic. Okay, this guy can just stay here, yeah. But this dude, kill, okay. Um, yeah, I just stayed there one more turn. Their defense. Okay. They're going to follow this guy, yeah. Alright, so three turns left. Oh, it's going up. Oh my goodness. Oh my surprise, that's good. That's very good. Three. Oh, still destroy two though. It's Panther D or something. Alright, going to the forest. Jesus. Wow, they don't care at all. They're just laughing at our pure evil attempt. Oh, my engineer's gone. Alright. Oh my goodness. I made a mistake of moving these guys. Yep. My goodness, what is this? All the regular troops. Reinforcement. Three turns left, folks. Three turns left. Will I make it? That is the question. Well, let's go and see the wonders of what the defenses they've set up. Can I identify what is down there? No. Oh, I can identify. My goodness. Vest. That is uh, very bad, of course, because the three range and it's going to cause a lot of trouble. How much requisition? 2000. Well, I mean, I have to spend some prestige here, right? Yep. Wow. That's great. Not great. Okay. Nope. Going to be almost uh, overrun. Panther A, so yep, yeah, it shall advance Panther. Uh, it's a surprise, so that's, I guess that's a surprise. 1 in 6. Maybe I can overrun this guy. Yep, overrun possible. But at what cost? Just outside the reach, threat. Okay. Not going to be enough. Or well, at least it's going to be, yeah. Okay. <sighs> Need to go down. Quick as possible. Regular. Heavily entrenched. One, okay. Yeah, hit in two. Going to be a massacre. One and five. Very unfortunate. Oh no. Okay. Can this guy do anything? Nope, they can't. Any more tanks. I should have brought my tanks, but I cannot really be expected to uh, gauge the need. I really didn't know that there would be a reinforcement. I should have waited and listened to some of the comments that might have helped me tremendously, but yeah, that's that. Uh, of course, the reinforcement will be coming with Bomb Manstein. I mean, uh, well, guess what? I mean, the tank is coming. The tank is coming. And uh, I need to put the planes out as well. Wow, yeah, not going to work.
Bomber. Damn it. If it works, I can return them. So, I guess that's that, right? <laughs> yeah, if it works, I can return them. Um, this is the fastest way now to make the most use of my prestige. It's going to get torn to pieces, of course, but... Uh, it has to help, right? And in certain cases. Now, what can this guy do? Yeah. Okay. So stream clear. Two. Three and one. Four and one. Yeah. Three and one. Okay. This is the German plane, right? Oh, that's my plane. Yak 9, okay. Yes, the Yak. My Yak. Who should I attack? Not this guy. Can you go down? Nope, not yet. Okay, so. This guy, we have to go back. And maybe it's going to be surprised. Hopefully. Hopefully. Okay. Now this guy. Alright, so the regular re experience. In the forest. Going to die. Oh man, this is a calculus. Not very good at math, folks. Okay. Enter A. Yeah, I have to make a decision sometime, right? Either it's going to be a poor decision. Or it's going to be another one of those RNG, you're right. I was always right type of stuff. Yeah, I think I made the right decision here. Uh, stemming the tide of the German armor for one turn. While the bombers will go there, while the planes here are distracted. I'll take an aim at the... I mean, I have a huge problem with prestige, so I'm not gonna lose out. Okay. Yeah. Seriously need... Yeah, seriously need... back here uh, you uh, you cannot stay there okay all right so two engineers one guard cavalry this best way has to go yeah has to go obviously didn't expect the German reinforcement yeah I don't think I can make it brilliant victory okay fine seven and three that's good now can I attack? Yes, I can. Uh, is is it going to be enough? This guy has to move as well. All right, uh, right here. I have no idea. Finally. Hither. Four and two. This guy has to move. No, this guy doesn't know where the artillery is. Hopefully not. Uh, yeah, hopefully not.
I'm very sorry about this. Yeah, have sure did. Spirited, spirited, spirited offense. Okay, so. The artillery cannot support. I'm sorry, armor, you'll be on your own without any fire support. That damn Katrusha is so slow. Time for determined action. Anyways, let's try to protect this artillery. Okay. These guys, well, can they offer general control and then Panzer is not going to be able to use. This is a bit of a gamble though. I'm going to leave this open, which is going to be very dangerous indeed. But I'm sure that, you know, if they wanted to move, I think they'll be caught by the zone of control, so they're not going to be able to move unless they have some kind of, you know, cavalry themselves, or even a panther that is going to come. And, you know, I cannot really leave anything for granted, of course, so that is another worry, and this guy is basically open to do whatever it pleases. So I have to leave this guy here. Just in case the guy opts to try to support and hit us from the behind, which is unfortunate. Okay, so that guy has moved. This guy is not moving. This guy is just trying to see if he can surprise this guy. How's the... Oh, he cannot actually... He has to fill up the next turn. So let's make it, uh, make it run a bit. Yeah, this is just too important for me to disregard any entrenchment here. Uh, yeah, same case as for these guys. My goodness. Oh, now they changed it into bridge. A bit of, uh, I guess, uh, glitch or something in the beginning. So I have two bombers now activated, IL-2Ms. Well, my dreams have come true. Wow, wow, okay, okay, now they're crossing the river, isn't it? Okay, six and four. Nicely done, nicely done. It's going to be. Wow, that is pretty bad. That is very bad. Oh no. No, 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 no. Enough of this, enough. Where? Oh my god. Okay, wow, this is crazy. They're pouring from everywhere, every direction. Christ. Alright. Ah, just out of the range. Damn it. Boy, okay. Nope, don't go there, don't go there. My uh, for my last turn uh, offensive, I'm going to just put this guy right here out of the uh, eyesight. Or I think you know the planes is going to. <sighs> yeah, I think I made the right decision. Now who am I targeting? Nice. Alright. Uh, what is this? Answer 4J. Shoot? No. You, you cannot shoot there? Okay. Oh, that is very bad. Guard cavalry. Do something. Oh my goodness, they're all congregating. This is not good, folks. I'm going to get hit very hard. Okay, destroy one. Destroy another one. Three, that's good. Overrun. No, of course not. Of course not. This is Panther A. This is one of the best tanks ever. Now the tank is still in a bit of a trouble here. 24. Yeah, this guy will be stricken. Nice. Alright, so we got them away. 
Um, do I? No, I want to be able to do more damage here. Yeah, they're coming. My goodness. Oh my goodness, actually drove them into the objective. And I lost out there, my goodness, that sucks double. Yeah, okay. Now what? Uh, yeah. Well, you have to shoot at the west. Going to. Alright, so you go in here. And I. These three tanks. Yeah, we have to destroy this guy. Oh, what do you know? Nice. Now I have a chance to inflict some damage. So, how many points do I have left? Only one. Now, if I cannot achieve a brilliant victory, it's going to be unfortunate. Yeah. You go into the forest. And you will be able to support this guy now. Uh, maybe in the forest. Uh, this guy is coming. So let's get prepared to defend with everything we got. Yeah, everything we got. Right. Oh my goodness, this is such a mistake. Such a bad play. Alright, K31. Well, he has a 4 range, right? So yeah, okay. He'll be able to support us from here. And yeah, this time I'm... Oh, it's... is it raining? Oh, it's auto ammo. Damn it! Okay. Dark cavalry. Yak 9. Money planes. Fuck of Wolf. Emmy Mono 9k. It's not going to happen. I can. Oh, it's not going to happen. Uh, maybe. Try to destroy this guy then. This guy now. Yeah. Nice. Alright. So this guy. Preventing this guy from coming and trying to recapture this point. And I'm going to do the same thing here. Try to prevent them from coming any further. And I uh, need to see if there is any tanks about. Nope. And four. Maybe overrun, possible. Almost out of fuel. It's not possible. And I got one destroyed. Ah, oh, wow. What do you What do you know? Uh, I'm just making this guy shoot all the available shells, basically. Yeah. And this guy, wow. Oh boy. Uh I think he can be he can run away. Street fighter. Or reinforce yourself. What can you do? Reinforce? Hmm. Well, these two tanks will just have a field day. So better to run away. Yes. Better to run away. And create a very flimsy but still respectable bit of a line here. It's going to get 
shred it, but well, what can you do? I mean, you have to think about everything, but sometimes things do not work out. Hopefully it's going to be okay. If I lose that tank, I'd be very sad. Ah man, I should just go on with it. I'm just uh, really worried. I'm worried all the time. Yeah, this guy should be right here. Plug in the hole there. Um, yeah, okay, so only one point left. Let's give it a go. I think one of these guys will stay over here, so... I need at least one, uh, yeah, I need, I don't know if I can make it, this tank is just too much, and uh, the stripping everywhere, yeah, I don't know, the thing is that if I actually drag this out, it's going to be much harder for me to uh, attain even simple victory objectives, need to be mindful of that, and, uh, you know, take, take definitely care. Alright, so, oh, I can move this guy. Aircorva can stay over here. Yeah, so it's more protected, more than enough. Okay, let's go and see if I can capture this. Oh, good, that's good. Yep, very good. Oh my god. Mm -mm. Damn it. Damn it. Oh boy. Okay, well. I mean, I did try to protect with air defense, but it was just too much. I mean, the planes just don't care. I mean, my air defense is just so weak. It's too weak. Where is this? Oh, okay. Yeah, good, good. So, um, yes, okay. Didn't suspect this to happen. Um, one suppressed. Okay. Wow. Wow, we. Okay. Another one. Come on, do it. Ah. One destroyed. Oh yes. I think I'd be. I think I'd be able to make it. But only if I can overrun this guy. Yeah. It all comes to comes down to RNG, folks. Oh, I can make it. Yeah, I can actually sneak in through uh, with my recon, so let's try that. But now, let's try to get as much experience as possible. Trying to destroy this very dangerous tanks uh, first. Yeah, nice. I like that. And my anti-tank, he was the hero in this basically very important unit. Very sorry that he had to come to this. by a freaking plane of course being covered but I need to basically look toward the silver lining here because my KB-85 basically escapes with the hair's breath so I guess I need to consider myself lucky once again yeah oh not even uh yeah okay, so like what can I do here there's a lot of infantry around Okay, can you fight? No. Nope. Alright, let's just dissolve this guy. Okay, so yeah, this guy is good. Oh no. Alright. 
Yep, that's it. We're here. And yeah, I can attack the ground. Nice, nice. Here. Oh, we can capture this airfield. That's good. I need to use my tanks to capture it. And I can even damage the wasp. Interesting. Oh, I didn't damage it at all, but... Uh, yeah. Somebody's gotta do it. Oh, this is out of ammo! Okay. Let's destroy these guys. It's a pretty sorry stage you've got yourself into, Mr. Vesp. And uh, I cannot reach this guy, it's rat. So, yeah, it's out of ammo, just in time. Engineer, can you attack? I don't think so. Yeah, cannot do it. Alright, so let's make it doubly sure. Get these guys first. Yeah, it's just powerless. I don't know, what, how many should I have? Like five or six? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Five and three. Yes, I can win this mission. Thank goodness. Well, folks, I'm very lucky, very lucky indeed to have. Uh, maybe I should check the strategic map first before gloating. Okay, so everything's captured, right? Every objective is under Soviet Union flag, red army or red banner. I don't know what they call it. Yeah, I don't know what to say. Another very lucky turn for us. But I really didn't expect that, you know, reinforcement from the west and south is going to be. Coming, of course, thought that they already prepared a lot of defense. The line, you know, incorporated into the natural barrier that is the Nuper River. But apparently, these guys are all coming. I guess that's what really happened. They were uh, really, once again, uh, trying to bolster their forces as the Soviet Union was trying to cross this particular, uh, particular point on their defensive line. Yeah, going to lose out. Okay. So I'm not gonna try anything funny. I'm going to just use this guy to capture it. But then the Germans were very prepared to counter that. Maybe that's what they were thinking about. As I crossed the river with the rivers to our backs, the Germans thought that maybe uh, they can drive us into the river. That's what they like to do best and what they mention all the time. Drive someone into a ravine or water or something. It's their specialty. So I guess, yeah, I feel, you know, I, I lost a lot of units though, oh, definitely, I, I think I sacrificed, uh, let's see, Air Cobra, anti-tank, and of course, one of my tanks got lost, I think, into the mix, and my engineer also lost its life. Brilliant victory, wow, this has been a hard-fought battle. Oh man, some very tense moment with the Panther A's now. I don't know, maybe next time I'm going to face a Panther, it's going to be Panther D. Um, yeah, quickly moving into a position and not being distracted by the plethora of the prestige and, you know, leaving it to the engineers or bridging guys to mop it up. I guess I was able to pull it through. I'm quite happy with, you know, the result, but I have to make a note of how many units I lost, of course, and I definitely believe that I'm going to get a prototype unit for the troubles. Let's see what this guy would have to say. He probably is rather impressed too. Three in a row, I mean. The great Stalin himself congratulates you and your devoted young troops. You are true communists. The fascists are fleeing before us and now our army has successfully crossed the Dnieper. Very good work, comrade. Yep, yeah, uh, Stalin himself congratulates. I don't know whether that's actually true, but I guess Stalin will be happy that our work here was able to draw the strength from the, not north though, but east and south. They would have gone to Kiev where General Konyev uh, was preparing his own bridgehead operation in order to surround the city and capture it. Yeah, I guess he'd be pretty impressed and happy that it was it happened, I guess, before November 7th. I don't know what this mission actually ended on, but before October. So yeah, I mean... Probably the guy would have to wait until November 7th in order to just enter the city and maybe uh, 
try to entrap few German divisions in the process. But Ukraine is now open for USSR to take it again. I don't know whether that is actually good news for the Ukrainians. Uh, but the Soviet Union is now... I think what happened after this was, after Ukraine was... Uh, after the, the Red Army drove the Germans out of Ukraine, the next up for them was to invade Romania and I guess deny his, or his oil resources. And Romania was a uh, you know, very staunch ally of the Nazi Germany for a long time. And as Ukraine fell, Romania basically saw the writing on the wall. And despite, I think that's the general who was leagued with the Axis, uh, Ionescu, he wanted to construct some powerful defenses using the mountains, but the king of Romania had none of it and negotiated for surrender, I guess, on um, as favorable terms uh, as they could. But in the end, Romania itself was incorporated into that Soviet Union bloc, had an SR designation. Yeah, so that opens the road for Romania and Czechoslovakia, and I guess General Messerg would be happy that his homeland is now, a, you know, could be a Soviet Republic, maybe. Uh, because Masaryk itself is apparently Czechoslovakian and Czechoslovakia I think tried to remain neutral but was invaded by the Germans of course and the Czechoslovakian in exile formed a fighting force that helped the Ukrainian divisions in the Red Army so that's what I heard anyways yeah so I don't know where this campaign will lead us but I'm pretty happy that I was able to record this victory my leaders came through I think well, once again T-34s not really measuring up to the German tanks I wasn't able to destroy the German units this time, but just eke out a victory, brilliant victory at that. And they were getting tired of this uh, little song, little ditty here. Comrade General, for over 900 days, Leningrad has been entrapped by the fascist invaders. Oh, okay. The party has decreed that you must break their stranglehold on the city. Comrade, the people must be freed at all costs. Their sacrifices must not have been in vain. 900 days. Leningrad. Wow, that's, that's a long time. Almost three years. Um, well, I guess two and a half years. We are going north and then it's already winter 1943. So I can expect some new tanks and anti-tank weapons. Uh, to bear upon the Germans who now is facing the Operation Beguration, I think. But Leningrad was able to hold out for a long time indeed, 900 days. I need to look up on Leningrad, but yeah, sure, let's relieve Leningrad. And I guess we are back in Motherland. New equipment available. Wow, KVD-5 finally joins us. Well, if I lost the KD-5 leader, then I could have got this as a consolation. But no prototype unit, folks. That is disappointing, indeed. Oh, look at the planes and uh, the available prestige. Uh, wait a minute, how much prestige did I have as I ended the mission? I didn't check, but I should have. I hope they actually added to the prestige I was able to get because I certainly had a lot, but... Maybe I'm just dreaming, because I brought already two bombers here. Did I bring two bombers? I think I did. Did, get one, did one get destroyed in the mix or something? Ah, I don't know. Well, here I am, here I am. I have all these tanks though. I mean, I have like 12 tanks. There's a lot of uh, upgrade path now open for the experienced uh, T-34s. Into K85, and this guy is now skin span back to full strength. There is back to health uh, during all that time. Yeah, I could choose just survived. I think he played a pretty important role in getting that Panther destroyed. So I guess in the end he was able to help us. The air defense is not help at all. And I think I lost one infantry. Yep, here is a tail of tape. I didn't lose any tanks. My goodness, I lost one anti-tank, one plane. I only lost one plane, huh? Wow, that is that is great. Anyways, uh, and then I lost uh, four infantry, at least two of which were my own. But yeah, it's, I guess light casualty, given the fact that the mission was pretty frenetic and chaotic. So I guess I should be happy with that. 
All right. So no new leaders gained, no new prototype. Uh, unfortunately, folks, I'm sorry if I'm not able to show you the new units of the Soviet arsenal a bit earlier, but it has to come a bit later. So if I achieve another brilliant victory, then, you know, they'll be able to give us a little bit of a break there, right? I don't think it's getting any easier, but I hope you enjoy the victory as much as I did. And once again, thank you for staying with me on the road to Berlin. Please stay tuned. USSR